It's called Not That Fancy, Simple Lessons on Living, Loving, Eating, and Dusting Off Your Boots. And there is a companion album of more drilled down acoustic versions of some of your biggest hits. Check that out. Troy's album, Something to Give Each Other, is available everywhere this Friday. Download it. Uh, you can see Alyssa and Mackenzie star in Wicked on Broadway, eight shows a week. Um, congratulations. Let's go to our virtual fans. Jessica and Kristen from Massachusetts have a question for Reba. Cheers, Andy. Cheers. Hi, Troy. Hi, Reba. Hello. Reba, I love you so much. Thank you. Um, would you ever get married again? And do you well, think your boyfriend Rex? AKA Sugar Tot. My Sugar Tot? That would be up to him. I've oh. been married twice. He's never been married. So if he wants to, that's totally up to him. Was it any, did, was it a head scratcher for you when you started dating him and knew that he had never crossed the finish line of marriage? Was it a head scratcher? Well, yeah, kind of. Like you, you had to line. talk it out. Yeah, we talked yeah, it you out. You had to talk yeah, it out. We talked it out, yeah. Um, when you go out in Nashville, do you do people come up to you a lot or do they leave you be? No. I'll be in the grocery store and they'll, you know, they'll come by and say, Reba? And I say, Yeah. Right. They say, Can I get a picture? I said, Yeah, I look like hammer death, but yeah, let's take a picture. Right. Okay. <laughs> to me, seeing you in in Nashville would be like seeing Mickey Mouse at Disneyland to mm -hmm. me. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh Casey from Illinois, what's your question for Troy? Hi, Andy. Hey. Uh, Reba and Troy, it's such an honor speaking with both of you. You guys are my icons, so Aww. this is Thanks. awesome. Uh, my question for Troy. Troy, since Hinge deactivated your account, thinking you were a fraud, did you ever get a Raya account? And have you ever met anyone special on a dating app? Um, so the answer is yes, I got Raya. Um, I don't use it though, because the answer to your second question is no. I've never really um, had much luck on the dating apps, so I'm just kind of... What about on Instagram? Is that a dating app? No, <laughs> but it's uh, Ricky Martin met his, his, his husband on Instagram. Oh, yeah, I actually have... Yeah, yeah it's a good... My, my last boyfriend I met on Instagram. There you go. Mm -hmm. What's your type, Troy Savant? I honestly don't know. It's like changing so much at the moment. Yeah. Um, so I have no clue. It's, it's different when, from what I thought it was. It was different from like a year ago. So yeah. What did you think it was? Um, I thought it was like creative type, um, tall kind of like skater boy vibe. Okay. And I think I'm growing up a little bit. I okay. think it's, it's changing now. Yeah. Okay. Reba, you got anyone to set Troy up with? Yeah, please. I'm thinking. I'm really yeah, thinking. Okay, really. Good. Come on. This yeah, okay, good. I would like for this to happen. Yeah. You got to yeah. find somebody that makes you laugh. That's the most important thing. Most I totally important agree. thing, I and totally... I found that. Oh. You did? It's priceless. Oh. Really? Right there. That's nice. Wow, and he's makes right me here. Laugh. Here he wow. is. Yeah. Wow. Um, by the way, where did you two meet, Reba? We were doing the Gambler movie, Kenny Rogers' yes. Gambler movie in 91, and... Um, we were stayed. Like, were you like Kenny's body stand-in or uh, something? Literally, I had one line. You had one line in the Gambler movie. She was the star with Kenny. Yeah. I was a twinkle, wasn't a star. Yeah. <laughs> but we became friends, and uh, we have a mutual friend. And then throughout the years, we just stayed in contact. We see each other every once in a while. And then in ninety uh, until twenty twenty, before the pandemic, mm -hmm. we were both on Young Sheldon. Mm -hmm. And oh, went out to amazing. dinner, and we've been inseparable ever since. That's amazing. Aww. Yeah. That's a great, Aww. great Oh. <laughs> that's a great story. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Gives us all a little bit of uh, hope. Uh, <laughs> Troy Fools DNP wants to know, do the people you write songs about ever, ever message you about them? Ooh. No, I don't think so. I if, if a song is, like, very obviously about a very specific situation that I think other people might know that it's about that person, I'll always send them the song before I put it out. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Just tell them about it. You don't do that. Oh, I don't write songs. Right. So I'm <laughs> <safe>. <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> Reva, Carly E wants to know, how was your experience headlining your first show at Madison Square Garden this year? Oh, it was very emotional. Yeah? My grandfather and my daddy both roped uh, at the rodeo back in the 30s and the 40s. Wow. And, or was it 40s? 30s and 40s. Okay. And so to get to be on that stage in that same building where my 
my, my dad and grandpap had been. It was yeah. very emotional. My brother and sisters came, so we had That's a really good nice. time. Did your parents get to see what a huge success you had? Well, Daddy died in 14, and Mama just passed in 2020. Okay. Yeah, so we I was on my way uh, doing pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at, you talk about the beginning of COVID, you two getting together. That was uh, right around the time that we lost Kenny Rogers. And he was, so, I don't know that he really got his due because everybody was all hung up on COVID, but what's your best memory of him? He, he had so many great hits, and he was such a superstar, that guy. The best. Yeah. He was a gentleman. He was nice to everyone. And when we were doing the Gambler movie, the my, my favorite time of the whole day was in the makeup trailer. With him. He would be yeah. in there telling jokes. And, yeah. And it was just a blast. Uh, another thing that just popped in my mind that I got to ask you about. You did a really cool thing that I read about. There was a fantastic feature in the New York Times a few months ago uh, about a restaurant you opened. Uh, Reba's, I think it's called Reba's Place. Reba's Place uh -huh. and it's in a pretty small town in Oklahoma. Atoka. Atoka, Oklahoma, uh -huh. and the success of this restaurant has had an incredible impact on this teeny little town. Tell me about it. Well, we decided a couple of years ago to do the restaurant in Atoka, 12 miles south of where I grew up. And it kind of has revived the town because everybody's buying the little stores that weren't doing very well and putting in new shops and little new, like a ice cream and, and different things in the town on Main Street. Yeah. And everybody's having fun. That's great. It's bringing the community together. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's so great. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Troy, I really, uh, I really want, since you and Kylie Minogue had two of the biggest kind of bangers of the summer, I, I just so want you two to collaborate. Do you, I know that you are in touch. Do you ever talk about doing something together? No, I'm, I'm way too scared to just straight up ask her. Really? Yeah, so um, no, it's just like a friendly DM back and forth every now and then. And um, I don't know, I'm sure we're, we're both Australians. So I feel like, I hope one day, Yeah. we'll see. This yeah. might do it. I know. I, I'm really hoping so. Yeah. Uh, we need it. Uh, I want to thank Reba and Troy and Alyssa <laughs> and Mackenzie. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.